गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई एम दीपिका सो एंड आई विल बी स्पीकिंग अ पोएट्री पेन बाई मी एंड एन एक्सर्प्ट फ्रॉम माई अपकमिंग बुक ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी द ईयर सो है गो आई कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड आई कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द पेन एंड ग्रीफ पीपल वेन थ्रू आफ्टर लूजिंग देयर लव वंस इन अ पेंडेमिक फिल विद सोरो एंड डिसबिलीव नो आई कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड the pain of a laborer walking thousands of miles just to reach his destiny which he doesn't know where it is or how will it be yes i cannot understand the sufferings of his family the death of a child while walking to his home barefooted all night no i cannot understand the hard work of a doctor the everyday danger he faces the patient he treated with the utmost patience yes i cannot understand his selflessness and his heart his sacrifices throughout with his family apart no i cannot understand the everyday chaos faced by a policeman his strictness hides a soft hearted man with his family having dreams and his daughter trying to fly as high as she can no i cannot understand the pain of a farmer who grows the highest of crop expecting the fruits of his diligence with just the thought of his children being brave no i cannot understand the pain of the elephant carrying a child inside torn apart in pain and her heart shattered with the death of a child and so decided to leave to to the heavenly world and far from this that fulfills its wish no i cannot understand the pay the sufferings the struggles of all these creatures finally doing their best to get some peace and have a dream i just cannot understand um well i feel the beauty of writing is indescribable I would like to add that my upcoming book 2023 the year will be published soon with Ink Feathers Publications. This book is about how this pandemic changed our lives. We all faced different problems yet we all were on the same page. Uh this book also has different characters having their unique perspectives. So here's an excerpt from the book uh an excerpt from the chapter a lesson for the lifetime i hope i'm not boring you this is my first open mic so please um so has the excerpt it was a chilly winter night everyone had gathered for the new year party at shivangi's house even her cousin sister ruchika who lived in the same city as hers joined them with her husband saurav and their two children We were so frustrated at home, all isolated and no where to go. Finally, we all stepped out of the house," said Ruchika, as they sat cozily in the veranda. "I understand better. This is why I called you," said Amita, Shivangi's mother. "Yes, we were relieved after my father-in-law recovered from this deadly virus, but it was a very tough time for all of us," Ruchika sighed. "I understand, Ruchika." But when exactly did everything happen? asked Amita in curiosity. It was sort of who replied. I think it happened in November. We had Diwali celebrations at the house and after a few days my father was not feeling well. It came as a shock to us that he had covid. I was scared for his health. It was nothing less than a nightmare for me. I still remember that one night when he was in the hospital he continued as he went into a flashback to the night november 2020 soros father had been shifted to the government hospital the situation was tense but they were relaxed that he was recovering it was around 2 am when sorov got a call he didn't recognize the number but he picked it up immediately He wouldn't miss any calls at night considering anything could be of emergency during this time. Hello, 
is this saurav as the person on the other side yes it is who is this saurav question back i am a nurse from the hospital your father asked me to ring you up he is not look he is not doing well the answer came from the phone during his duties this nurse used to be friendly to the patients he would often help them and provide his cell phone to connect with their family members saurav went into a frenzy he sat upright on the bed which disturbed ruchika's sleep as well she knew from saurav's expression that the call was from the hospital what happened is he all right can you pass him the phone saurav said as he gave a worried look to ruchika he heard a little shuffling and the next moment his father spoke on the call saurav beta i am feeling very lonely i am so scared he said his voice breaking with every word that evening he had came to know that the patient on the be- bed beside him who was also having covid treatment had died sir relax you are panicking see you are sweating a lot saurav could hear the nurse saying in the background his father was stuttering and couldn't even utter the words clearly all he wanted was to come back home i can't stay here for one more day please come back and take me home he said almost begging with tears in his eyes be strong dad you have to stay there so you can recover well saurav gave hope to his father while he himself was so scared that he rushed down to his car ruchika had put to in a thermos which he handed to him as she left for the hospital he couldn't go in but he stood outside the hospital all the while on call assuring his father that everything would be fine and he was just outside the building he was admitted in but his father wouldn't stop stressing the fear of death had gripped him seeing someone die beside him was a terrible incident dad it's a hospital someone dying there is normal you don't think about it just have faith in god and sleep i promise you will get discharged by tomorrow morning saurav comforted his father he requested the nurse and asked if he could come down there outside the hospital to which he agreed promptly saurav had to wait for a few minutes which felt like hours to him his mind was filled with constant thoughts of his father father's words and worries rang in his ears but he had to be strong he had to think positively he shook off his thoughts as he saw the nurse approach here saurav handed i'm sorry here saurav here saurav handed him the thermos just give it to my father and tell him that i will be here he doesn't have to worry saurav said with pleading eyes okay sir you don't have to worry you sit there on the bench and stay strong he is a fighter he will be okay the nurse consoled him as he was the one who would often send food to his father saurav spent the night on the bench outside the hospital he called ruchika and informed her about the situation both stayed awake the whole night worrying about their father's health the next morning as promised saurav asked the doctor for his dis- father's discharge as seeing his speedy recovery he was discharged on the note the that he had to be home quarantined his father was overjoyed seeing him saurav saurav and he, sorry uh his father was overjoyed seeing saurav and hearing that he wasn't going he was going home or maybe because now he now he wasn't going to die in the hospital bed present scenario as they all were sitting in the veranda saurav said that night still haunts him even after he was back home i often stood outside our home so he could see me from the balcony at 2 in the morning often i used to talk to him the whole night on days when he couldn't sleep the environment had become gloomy everyone said their sadly when saurav spoke again but i'm telling you everything is about fear you can conquer the virus only when you become fearless When my father was crying about people dying around him I told him a few words I said if you want to live don't think much about the surroundings do just close your eyes and sleep as he completed Mr Sanjay Shivangi's father chimed in It's the first day of the new year it was 12 am hopefully everything will be normal this year he prayed as he took a sip of his beer from the bottle yes Finally 2020 is over. 
Ayan screamed in excitement, and the other skate jo joins joined while the elders chuckled. Now the old times are gone. New things will arrive this year. I'm so proud of you both, Ruchika and Saurav. Let's enjoy the party now. We never know what will happen tomorrow, so let's just leave this moment," said Amita in enthusiasm. They all laughed as they finally passed one of the toughest rocks in their lives. After a long time, they brought sweets from outside and even cut a cake. Everyone danced happily till two in the morning. It was one of the fun nights for Shivangi. She certainly thought everything was going back to normal. Thank you so much. <laughs>